Welcome to the case summary for Cottenham versus Wisdom on forlawnotes.com. In this case, the co-plaintiffs were doctors who were performing an emergency surgery on an accident victim who had fallen off of a streetcar and was unconscious. And as it happened, he never regained consciousness and he later died from his injuries. This action was brought by the doctors in order to recover a $2,000 payment for the services they rendered in attempting to save his life. But the estate administrator claimed that because the victim was unconscious at the time that the service were, services were agreed and rendered, that he was unable to enter into a valid contract and was not able to agree to a price. So the issues are uh, whether a contract actually existed between the patient and the doctor and what determines the value of the claim for payment as reasonable compensation for the services rendered. So the court held that physicians who are treating a patient who is unconscious or helpless as a result of their injuries is treating them under an implied or quasi-contract and thus the patient is held liable for the services that are rendered by the physician. And in determining the value for the medical services rendered uh, by the physician where there is an implied contract, the standard is the court held that the surgeon is entitled to fair compensation for his time, service, and skill, that he's entitled to reasonable compensation, and that the ability to pay or the financial condition of the patient is irrelevant. And that concludes this case summary for Cottenham versus Wisdom on 4lawnotes.com.